Hari Om and good evening to all. Salutations to the Almighty and Guru Parampara, respected Swamiji and uh, all my friends here. I think what has to be covered in this topic is already covered. Probably there's nothing more to add. Um, we'll continue on what Archana Ji said that the, uh, the tagline for our uh, theme here is uh, science and spirituality and God in every particle with a question mark. That is the tagline given to us. The fundamental principle that is said to be consciousness is established. If that is the fundamental principle having certain phenomenon about it, certain base material about it, how is it that what has come out to our cognition can appear to be something very different? What is uh, described in Vedanta as Sat, Chit, Ananda, Sat being absolute existence, Chit being absolute consciousness and Ananda being absolute bliss. From our experience point of view, it is um, quite the opposite. Um, the Chit uh, seems to be like Jada or inert particle without any uh, life principle, most of the universe that we see. And Sat, which is an absolute existence, seems to be changing all the time. Ananda, we need not talk at all. Where is the Ananda in our lives? There, is, there seems to be only sorrow, or rather it is mixed with joy and sorrow. <clears throat> so what seems to be the basic fundamental principle seems to appear as something very different. Now what is the reason? We do not know. It is termed as Maya in, uh, in Vedantic parlance. In science also, what Archana Ji talked about, uh, uh, the theory of uh, relativity, theory of incompleteness, in, uh, very, very interestingly, these are all exactly the uh, pointers towards what is called as Maya here. Now, oh, where do you see? Okay. You see a hexagon here. A regular hexagon, a regular hexagon is where all the sides are equal and all the angles are equal. Imagine two lines drawn from the vertices on the top to the bottom like this and uh, you find that there is, now you can say there are two triangles and a rectangle in between. The properties of the hexagon and the properties of what you see here are quite different. In hexagon, all are obtuse angles, equal, and all sides are equal. Here it is not the same. You have uh, a rectangle where you have right angles, and you have triangles where there are acute angles. Now, where do these angles come from? They were not in the original actually, but they seem to have appeared here. Do we posit a God for this creation? No. Then why does it appear like this? It is exactly that it is. It is an appearance. Now you have to tell why you have created it. Swami Ramatita was asked this question as to how do you explain the uh, creation of this phenomenal world? He said, I am seeing Brahman. You are seeing a world. You better explain it. I have no explanation for it. So here, when you see a rectangle accompanied by two triangles, is it really that these are created or it, these just appear? It is the same hexagon that appears like this. So it is merely an appearance. We need not posit a God for this. The appearance in technical language is called as Nama Rupa. Nama means name, Rupa means form. On the fundamental building block, a building has been raised which cannot exist without the substratum and what has been raised is given a name and it is in a particular form. That is why it is called as Nama Rupa. In this name, in this form, you call it two triangles and a, uh, a rectangle. Otherwise, it is just a hexagon. 
it is your imagination that you have drawn true lines and then you ask to explain how has that come. Actually, it is in your imagination as it is. In science, um, it is again, uh, having not uh, studied science beyond the uh, school level, it is still an ashtarya for us or for most of us except the scientists here. Uh, I was talking to professor here, Professor uh, Ghosh and Professor Bakchi used to conduct this uh, quest experiment in, in the Doordarshan in 80s. Uh, it was one of the brilliant programs of Doordarshan. I remember one of the experiments that they did there is that, uh, you know, in a mortar and pestle, you put all the bangles of different color. They had three such mortar and pestles and put yellow color bangles in one, red in one and uh, green in one. They continually kept on crushing it. At the end of it all, everything had only white powder. So that was the question. I, don't ask me the answer, sir. I don't remember. But this was the question. But it is, a, it is an experiment that we they, they very clearly demonstrated that apparently everything is in different color and different form and shape, but ultimately the base when you crush it is all one and the same. How is that, how it is that it has appeared like that? Nobody can explain. I mean, science can explain it, but why it is so appearing to us, it is phenomenal. It is, it's magic, it's a magic. Ashcharya says Bhagavad Gita, it's Ashcharya. That is precisely what it is, what we see as an apparent reality here is something like this. In chemistry, we study this allotropes of carbon. There is this charcoal and there is this diamond. It is very difficult for us to believe, even after studying that both are same, both are carbon. It is only their arrangement of the atomic particles in a certain way that it is appearing as carbon there and a charcoal there and carbon diamond here. Completely different properties. You have charcoal which is very dark, very black, diamond which is very bright and brilliant. Charcoal is very soft that it will leave a mark on a piece of paper if you leave it there. Diamond is very hard that it can cut through metals. Charcoal is very common. Diamond is very rare and precious. Charcoal is cheap and diamond is expensive. Extremely different properties. But ultimately, what is the difference? The difference is only in Nama Rupa. In one name and one form, you call it charcoal. In another name and another form, you call it uh, diamond. So, exactly the same way, what Vedanta says is, it is Brahman, the only reality as a pure consciousness, that is the substratum. And so, therefore, what is the world that all of us experience here? It is Nama Rupa. It may not conform to the exact qualities as we imagine of Brahman. But what is appearing to you as this phenomenal universe is nothing but Brahman and Brahman alone. I conclude my opening remarks here.